subscribe to my channel and press bell icon for latest updates. Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghuveer. In this class, we will discuss about uh, K-fold cross validation. Uh, for understanding of this class, we will use some of the concepts which we have discussed in our previous classes. Our assumption here is you have already watched all those classes. So for understanding of the subject, please follow our playlist from the beginning of the playlist. The link for the playlist is provided in the description below. Okay, before going into the class, our class is K-fold cross validation. Before going into the class, first we have to understand what's the use of K-fold cross validation, why we need, why we need K-fold cross validation. In our uh, training, validation and testing data class, what we have discussed, uh, suppose this is our data set, uh, our data set will be divided into three parts, training part, validation part and the uh, testing part. 60% uh, of the data is taken for training data, 20% of the data for validation data and 20% of the data is taken for testing data. So we don't use this testing data during the training phase because the testing data should be unseen by the training phase. That's why we don't use this uh, testing data. So how we use this training and validation data during the training phase? Uh, suppose we take a model M1. This M1 is given this 60% of the training data is given as input to this model M1 and this model will generate a function. We use this function for I predicting the future values as we discussed in our accuracy class how to calculate the accuracy so calculate the accuracy for this validation data we are calculating accuracy for validation data first suppose we got 80 percent accuracy on validation data so we are not satisfied with 80 percent accuracy we need much more what we do we will change this mo model we will do some modifications in this model and we will again take this 60% of the training data and give as input to this model and it will generate a new function again calculate the accuracy on validation data so what we get uh, so for suppose we got 85% uh, accuracy we are not satisfied with accuracy of 80% uh, again we do some modifications in the model and again train the data with 60% data, 60% 60 60 of this training data and we get the new function. Again calculate the accuracy for validation data. This is what we do using these two data sets, training data and validation data. The problem here is uh, we are not at all using this 20% data for input for our model means we are not at all using this 20% data for training our model means we are wasting this 20 percent data our machine learning models need large amounts of data for identifying the generalization of our data set so we are wasting this 20 percent of data okay so first suppose our data set is very small it is only 10,000 data points 20 percent of 10,000 means we are wasting 2,000 data points that's why that's why they started k fold cross validation k fold cross validation in k fold cross validation what we do is we will divide our data into two parts testing and training part testing will take 20 percent and training will take 80 percent let's say k is equal to 5 so how our uh, k fold cross validation works is let's say k is equal to 5 we will take this 80 percent of data here 80 percent of training data k is equal to 5 we divide this data into five different parts five equal different parts one two so on up to five so what we do here is uh, first time we will take this four parts first part second part third part fourth part we take it for training and the last part we will take it for validation purpose so t is equal to first one second one third one fourth one and validation purpose we will take five we will give this for training, we will get a new function, we will get a function, we use that function for validating our fifth part data, we got a accuracy of 
again we do training on first one second one third one fifth one t is equal to first part second part third part fifth part validation part is taken as a fourth part again we do next one training is equal to one two four five validation part we will take it as third part like that we repeat five times we are taking all the parts for validation and all the parts for the training this is what k fold cross validation is here are the accuracies we got for each and everything we will take the average accuracy of all the different accuracies we got in different sets this is what k fold cross validation is here in k fold cross validation we are using each and every data point for training and we are using each and every data point for validation check here in validation we are taking fifth part next fourth part next third part next second part next first part the next question is which k is the best k so the experiment shows that they have done so many experiments on this k-fold cross validation and they have decided that k is equal to 10 is the best k depends on the data set size they will pick the k value from 5 to 10 let's get an intuition of why k is equal to 10 is taken as the best k let's take an example that our data set is having the thousand data points first suppose we take k is k is equal to we took k is equal to 2 means we divided our data into two parts means 500 500 thousand divided by 2 means 500 500 we, one part is used for validation one part is used for the training uh, means we are using uh, 500 data points out of thousand data points we are using for validation uh, which is useless taking 500 data points for validation is useless let's say we took the k value highest k value let's take k is equal to 500 means this data, thousand data points are divided into 500 parts each part will get two points so validation will take only two data points which is very very less okay we should not take more validation data points we should not take less validation point validation data points the trade-off between less and uh, more validation points uh, on the experiments it shows that k is equal to 10 will be taken as the best k most of them will choose most of the times k is equal to 10 so coming to uh, when we discuss about our next uh, models uh, we will use this class grid search cv for executing our models uh, in this class we are having a variable called cv cv is equal to 5 means uh, it's k fold cross validation cv is equal to 5 means it will automatically we don't need to write any coding at all it will this class will automatically take our data set whenever whatever the data set you have given for input for this class it will take the data set and it will divide our data set into five equal parts and it will do the calculation all this calculation and the average value will be given so this class will take care of all those things no need to write the code okay so remember this class we use this class when we are executing our models okay hope you understand the class if you have any questions regarding the class concept please post your questions in the comment section below thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates thank you